Hi, my name is Milan Danhauser. I'm the director and screenwriter for Jacob's Ladder. I think Jacob's Ladder is a story about a platonic friendship that develops under unusual circumstances, but it's also a commentary on society and the subtle like undertones of racism between white women and black men. And it also comments on how white women have been almost raised to fear black men and how problematic that is in general. So that's why I feel like it's quite relevant and important to today's society. My name is Gabrielle Hardy and I play the character of Ashley in Jacob's Dad. Most challenging part about playing Ashley is probably having to delve so deep into that kind of pain, even though I don't know what it's like to be a mother and lose a child, just to take pain from my own personal life and have to have to channel it and also to be so racist to one of my really close friends but I'm happy that I got this character because she is so important for people to see like obviously that is Ashley and Gabby two completely separate people but but she was made for a reason and her importance in the film is great so yeah she was difficult but important and I'm really glad I got this opportunity. Hello, my name is Eya Mambali. Um, I play the role of Sunny. Well, Jacob's Ladder is about understanding for me. I think from Sunny's perspective, it's about understanding. As people go through certain things, and yes, there are racial issues here and there, undertones now and then, but certain times people go through stuff that we don't know and when they outburst it seems as if we the issue when it's not really personal it's more of their situation if that makes sense so in a sense it is about understanding how people are where people come from and understanding racism in a sense my name is Beth It's important because it deals um, with this uncomfortable topic which is race and like most films that deal with race um, they aim to facilitate an open discussion about this uncomfortable topic of race as opposed to just sweeping it under the carpet and pretending that everything's fine. So it's important that we acknowledge that there are reasons behind the actions that people take every day whether it be their upbringing, whether it be their history, whether it be traumatic experience and, um, experiences that they have been through. We need to treat the next person with that in mind that they could be going through a lot. Hi, my name is Basila Kazuma and I am an actress. For me, Jacob's Ladder is about tackling one of the most sensitive issues in today's society. Um, it being something that people can relate to and it being an eye-opener for the people. Um, also for them to realize that friendships can be built and the past can be let go um, and it's easy to forgive. Hi there, my name is Michael Mike and I'm one of the DFPs for Jacob Ladder. I am also the editor for Jacob Ladder. I think my favorite scene to shoot is probably the urn scene because I've never had so much pressure on, on us when we're actually filming because I don't think in after we've had like a, a take that actually cost us money you know so we've got this urn and we have to break it so we, if we break it we don't have another one so that's kind of like we the shot actually cost us money you know and we don't have another chance for it and it came out pretty well hi there my name is Gert Meyer. i'm one of the dops and the colorist for the film jacob's ladder jacob's ladder to me is about self-reflection it's about looking inward on your own subconscious prejudices on anything you're doing to people around you because of things that have happened to you in the past um, so yeah i'd say it's about self-reflection looking at you hi my name is nicole katsia and i am the sound designer for the film jacob's ladder 
for me, I really, really enjoyed being on set. I feel that every single person in our crew and cast is so talented and I really loved working with all of them. We had a lot of fun on set and it was just great to get away and um, be able to get to know each other and um, yeah, get to know personal experiences within an environment with no signal um, and just being away from the busyness of um, our lives and yeah I also think when it comes to sound design specifically there was a couple challenges on set um, there was a lot of wind or sometimes we had to um, deal with um, weather changes like storms and rain and all of that but I feel that we overcame that and I think that the final product was really great and I'm very excited to hear the sound and watch the film.